Hello students, hello everyone. Our topic is T matrix and determinants. In this video, we want to take the correction for lesson 9, 10, and 11 classwork. So this video is a form of summarizing lesson 9, 10, and 11. So listen attentively for better understanding of the last three lessons in matrix and determinants so let's take the classwork now you have four questions find the inverse of the following matrices number one we have matrix a you have matrix A, okay, so number one, you have matrix A, number two, you have matrix B, matrix B, the entry, some are missed fractions, then number three, you are asked to solve using Kramer's rule, the system of simultaneous linear equation. You have 4s plus 3y equal to 13, and you have s minus 5y equal to minus 14. Then number four, solve using matrix inverse method another system of linear equation 3s plus y equal to 32 3s plus y equal to 32 then s plus 3y equal to 14 so let us see the solution to these four problems okay okay so the number one we have to find the inverse and for a two by two matrix you know that the inverse is one over determinant first so the inverse is denoted as this okay so this is one over determinant Determinant is the difference of the product of the two diagonals. You start with the main diagonal that is 4 times 2. Difference there means minus. Then you take the product of the second diagonal that is minus 3 times minus 1. The one will come here the main diagonal 4 and two you interchange the element there to two and four the other is minus three minus one you multiply it by minus one so if you multiply minus three by minus one you have plus three if you multiply minus one this minus one by default minus one what you have there is one is one then we simplify the determinant so you have two times four that is eight then you have minus minus three times minus one that is plus three that's the three you have here now the matrix is there you bring it down so one over eight minus three is five so you have one over five multiplied by the matrix so this is the determinant this is the inverse of this matrix okay so we have a uh, number two we are looking for the same inverse so this is matrix b now the missed fractions entry 
let's convert them to improper fraction so to do that you multiply this one by two you have two you add it to this one that is three over two that is the entry you have here for this the same thing you multiply two by four you add it to one you have nine over two here is also three over two the inverse is denoted as this and the inverse is one over determinant that is six times three over two the main diagonal then the difference is minus the second diagonal you have three over two times nine over two that is what you have there you interchange the main diagonal so you interchange six and three over two to three over two and six the the other diagonal you multiply by minus one so you multiply three over two by minus one you have minus three over two you multiply nine over two by minus one you have minus nine over two so we have to, we have to simplify the determinant that is where the work is so six times three over two that is 18 over 2 3 times 9 is 27 2 times 2 is 4 the determinant or the the, the matrix you bring it in you find the LCM the LCM of 2 and 4 is 4 if we divide 4 by 2 you have 2 times 18 is 36 minus Divide 4 by 4 is 1 times 27 is 27. So when you come here, you have 1 over 36 minus 27 is 9 over 4. Then the matrix, you bring it in. Everything here is 1, 10. So if you divide 1, by 9 over 4 if you divide okay if you divide 1 by 9 over 4 as opposed to have 4 over 9 it's okay so if you divide 1 by 9 over 4 it becomes 4 over 9 multiply by the matrix then we have 4 over 9 also. Then here, I choose to divide the entry and change it to decimal form. So divide 3 by 2, you have 1.5 minus 1.5. Divide 9 by 2, you have minus 4.5 and you have 6. So this is the inverse of matrix B. The inverse of matrix B okay question 3 solve using Kramer's rule the system of simultaneous linear equation okay so let's label the equations the first one is 4s plus 3y equal to 13 that is equation 1 the second equation is s minus 5y equal to minus 14 that is equation 2 to use this method we have to define about three matrices the first matrix is the coefficient matrix denoted by a you obtain that matrix from the s column in the system of equation and y column if you take s column the coefficient of s in equation 1 is 4 that is a 4 here in equation 2 you have 1 attached to s that is a 1 you have here 
then for the y colon equation one you have three that's the three you have here and equation two you have minus five you don't ignore the minus that is minus five after that you define the variable matrix you are looking for variable s and y so let's use capital s you know a matrix name is capital letter the variable I'm looking for now is small letter s and small letter y we define the third matrix as the constant matrix that is the right hand side of the system when we use matrix b for equation one you have 13 equation two you have minus 14. after this you put the system in matrix form so in matrix form you have the coefficient matrix times the variable matrix equal to the right hand side to get the solution is so you have s s is determinant of a s over determinant of coefficient matrix y is determinant of a y over determinant of coefficient matrix so we start with the coefficient matrix that is the matrix with the entries 4 3 1 minus 5 determinant you take the difference of the product of the two diagonals you start with the main diagonal that is 4 times minus 5 difference is minus you have 3 times 1 that is what you have here so you have minus 20 minus 3 equal to minus 23 for determinant of a s in the coefficient matrix now this is the column for a s you replace the column with the constant matrix with the constant matrix as in now we've replaced the s column with the constant matrix that is the trick you replace the s column with the constant matrix and you find determinant 13 minus 5 that is what you have here then the difference is for determinant of 2 by 2 matrix and we have 3 times minus 14 3 times minus 14 so you have minus 65 minus times minus is plus 3 times 14 is 42 if you add you have minus 23 you know determinant of a sub y so a sub y this is the y column and the entries there are 3 and minus 5 you replace them again with the constant matrix that is 13 minus 4 and you find the determinant where you have 4 times minus 14 in this form this is the difference for determinant of 2 by 2 matrix then you take 13 times 1 in this form so you have minus 56 minus 13 and that is minus 69 after that you get the value of s value of s from this rule we stated now determinant of a s that is minus 23 divided by determinant of coefficient matrix another minus 23 when you divide you have one then to get y determinant of a y divided by determinant of a that is minus 69 divided by minus 23 and you are supposed to have 3 not minus 3 so let me change that okay so if you divide minus 63 minus 69 by minus 23 you 
have 3 as the solution. So therefore, the value of S is 1 and the value of Y is 3. So this is summary of Kramer's rule once again. Okay? The last classwork in this series you should solve using matrix inverse. This is the first equation. This is second equation. So let's label them 3s plus y equal 32. That is equation 1. S plus 3y equal to 14. Equation 2. The same thing we'll do here. We'll define three matrices. The coefficient matrix that is A. The S column is 3, 1. Y column is 1, 3. The variable matrix is SY. The constant matrix is 32, 14. You put the system in matrix form. Remember, in the inverse method, you get the inverse of the coefficient matrix. But what we are looking for now is this matrix and the matrix is S. So to get S, you use the inverse of the coefficient matrix to multiply the constant matrix. This gives the solution. So S is equal to A inverse times B. Where A inverse is the inverse of the coefficient matrix. So we get a inverse frame. So inverse of A is 1 over determinant. That is 3 times 3 minus 1 times 1. That is what you have here. Then for the matrix, if you interchange 3 and 3, it remains the same. The other diagonal, 1 and 1, Multiply it by minus 1, so it becomes minus 1, minus 1. Okay? 3 times 3 is 9, minus 1. So you have 1 over 8, multiplied by the matrix. So this is the inverse. The solution now is S. And what is S? S is the inverse times the constant matrix. Before you use... 1 over 8 to multiply or to divide, you have to carry up the multiplication first, where you have the first row times the only column you have. That is 3, and you know, when multiplying element by element, so you have 3 times 32, then you add plus minus 1 times 14 in this form. When you are done with that, the second row minus 3, 4, multiply the only column. So you have minus 1 times 32, and you have 3 times 14. 3 times 14. When you do that, 3 times 32, you have 69 minus 14. Minus 1 times 32. You have minus 32 plus 3 times 14 is 42. So this S now, this is the matrix small s and y. So you have 1 over 8. 96 minus 14, that is 82. Minus 32 plus 42 is 10. So, to get S now, you use 1 over 8 to multiply 82. That is 82 over 8. You divide by 2, you have 41 over 4. If you divide the decimal form, you have 10.25. Then to get Y, you use 1 over 8 to multiply 10. That is 10 over 8. If you reduce, you have... 5 over 4 to decimal you have 1.25 1.25 so this is the summary of the inverse method of matrix used
used to solve system of simultaneous equation okay for updates follow voice of peter course via youtube at peter course simplified months to do that subscribe to this channel like this video share it to your friends your colleagues you can also follow the voice of peter course via facebook instagram at peter course simplified maths for questions and inquiries use the comment session goodbye